Welcome to the newest Rob Ross video. Um, shot some great footage last night. The lighting isn't great, but the edutainment is. So enjoy it, and um, you can also listen to this whole thing on the podcast, our Rob Ross podcast, which is a little bit of a different version. Also, if you're interested in joining my brothers and I, along with a special guest who you're about to be introduced to for our next retreat in Big Sur, April 9th through the 13th, email us at robbraws at gmail.com. If you don't know much about Big Sur, it's raw. Bra. All right, this is the moment some of you have been waiting for. Uh, we're going to introduce you to the first recipient of the first 2015 Rob Ross Scholarship, Tinley. Woo! You may <laughs> recognize her from The Bachelor in 2010. Yeah. And then what was the next TV show? The Bachelor Pad. And then, uh, you know, I'm doing the 10 All In Project. <laughs> 10, she frequents the same coffee shop. I was just like... Can't ignore the synchronicity. And then over here, I figure the greatest place to start for the first scholarship was uh, also known as the Foundation, which is the company that you run, sure. Dane Maxwell. And we uh, met you. I met you at the conference for men. We did. And we yeah. shared some really honest moments. And I think <laughs> I think we both realized, like, okay, all right, we can hang out. <laughs> I like this. So this, uh, the Foundation will be funding the first Rob Ross Scholarship, and Tinley is receiving the first Rob Ross Thank Scholarship. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and she'll be joining us in Big so Sur. True. So if you are too, there's more incentive. And uh, basically, I just want to, first of all, just thank these guys. Like, I'm so thankful to be here. I'm so thankful. I don't even know. I think the more I learn about both of them, the more inspired that I am. Um, but we'll start with the funder, the foundation. The foundation, as far as I understand, is basically a school for entrepreneurs. And that's where the Rob Ross have basically been heading. You know, we started with the food, then we moved to the fitness, then we moved to the fun and the traveling. And then we realized people were really inspired by the lifestyle. And this guy right here, how many people have been in your school? We've had about 1,200 people. All right, so 1,200 people basically pursuing the lifestyle they're passionate about and getting paid to do it, correct? Is that a good way to describe it? Yes. Simultaneously, we, we believe that we can use entrepreneurship as a pathway to wake people up to how brilliant they are. Okay. And so that uh, while, while in the confines of a typical 9 to 5, they typically aren't realizing their fullest potential. But in the entrepreneurial realm, we, they, they can actually step into who they've been designed to be in some cases. And, in, and, and in not, if not, then usually they can come back into the, the corporate world, but be uh, from a more enlightened, uh, awake, aware perspective. I like it. It sounds very, cool. very aligned <laughs> with what I do. And I believe very aligned with what she does because I think The Bachelor served as a great foundation yeah. for your entrepreneurial path that you're Absolutely. on, correct, right? Yes. The yes. Sweet and Free Life? Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about that. So, um, Sweet and Free Life became something um, from my own personal story of um, health and also life. Um, just things that happened and I, I really was, uh, the name is based on um, living free of the things that was holding me back and to live a true um, and healthy and happy life and but still enjoying the sweet things in life while um, being free from those other things. So what I do is I'm a holistic nutritionist and health coach and I work on not just the nutrition um, by the food we're eating, but also kind of nutrition for the soul as well. So that's what I do. Well, so for anybody that's been watching the Rob Ross for a while, you know why. This is such a synergistic, like, station collaboration right here. I mean, they both have so much in common uh, with what we do. And my idea here was, uh, from my understanding with Dane, he kind of, you can really help people grow their business or maybe seeing things they're missing or yeah, absolutely. give a sort of consultation. So I was thinking that maybe we could get <laughs> some live action here, live, you know, for us, maybe in the past for you, but some live consultations on uh, maybe helping us grow our business or maybe seeing some blind spots that we're missing. Yeah, man, that would be pretty cool. Uh, that would be really awesome. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all about that. So, uh, and Winnie, I'm not sure if you can see Winnie. Can you see Winnie? So she is uh, Dane's dog? Yes. Do you claim ownership? I or? claim ownership <laughs> okay. She is Every out. day I claim ownership. <laughs> there she is. She's keeping me warm. My, my kidneys warm during this talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing to keep warm. Um... So, let's see, the, you know, we ha don't have much planned here, we're going to let this organically express itself. I'm just stoked to be here. Uh, maybe we can start with uh, Tinley, 
if you're up for that. Yeah. You maybe so, you know a little bit about your business and maybe where you so, can see Dane being able to help. Yeah. Um, okay, Dane. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cut this portion of the video off for our YouTube viewers. If you're listening to the podcast, stick with me for a few more seconds and the consultations will begin. Um, it just got a little business heavy and a little strategically heavy for your average YouTube audience. If you wanted more and you want to go all in on this video, go to robbroz.com slash the foundation um, to see the video version of Dane giving me a business consultation and Tenley a business consultation. Um, and now enjoy the rest of the video. Well, I'm putting them on the spot right now because this is, I know the YouTube audience is super ADHD sometimes like I am, but that means ambitious, defiant, happy animal for me. What does it mean for you? Um, real quickly, I wanted them to maybe inspire you to take action because I'm all about doing it. I'm all about doing it and doing it again and again and again until you get done what you want to get done. So dang, from the foundation, if someone's watching this and they're like, man, I want to start something from nothing and I'm ready to start getting paid to pursue my passion and start my business. Is there is a little tidbit of advice that you would give them? And then maybe if we include the whole video, you can go to our podcast. I'll make some clickable links, make some notes in the videos while he's thinking. Like right here. Here, right there, here. There, 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 there. But the floor is yours. The microphone is yours. This video is went viral. A million people saw it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> so everybody has, everybody has an inner voice. Uh, a small voice inside that's usually nudging them in a direction. And if you have a voice inside and it's telling you there's something more, if you have a voice inside and it's telling you that something's not right, if you have a voice inside and it's telling you that you're not in the right relationship you should be in, you know because it's your voice. And every day that goes by that you don't listen to that voice, it gets quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter until it's gone. And every day that you listen to that voice, it gets louder and louder and louder and louder until it directs every part of your completely fulfilled and at peace and at ease life. Because you listen to that voice. So if you have this voice inside and it's telling you to go do something, it's telling you to change jobs, it's telling you to leave a relationship, it's telling you what it's telling you, and then you have the mental chatter that comes in after, and no, 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 I can't do that for whatever X, Y, Z reason. And you're caught in this circle. It's like a, a, a tank of lobsters. If you've ever seen a tank of lobsters, a, a lobster will climb up in the tank, and then right as it's about to get out, what happens? All the other lobsters reach up and grab it and pull it down. And if you're in an environment like that, where your voice is speaking and it's either pulled down by your mind or you come up or it's pulled down by your friends and you need a hand to come down and lift you up out of the lobster tank so you can start listening to that voice and finally be at ease in your life because you're honoring the truest, most sacred thing that's inside of you. This voice inside of you is so tender and so sacred and so easily lost that if you even whisper it to the wrong person, it can fall away. So it's so important to be around a community of people like Rob Ross, <laughs> who honor that voice and allow that voice to live so you can be confident about what your inner voice is saying instead of ridiculed and belittled and shamed for it. Because if you're not shaming yourself, usually someone else is. So that voice inside, if it's telling you this, find a home where that voice can grow where that voice can live and where you can start living that life that you have pictured in your mind, the life that's pictured in your mind that you don't have, and t so that can become congruent. If you'd like some, someone to come and lift you up out of the lobster tank, the foundation is a great place to do that. And you can visit us at thefoundation.com. Mm, 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 so good. Mm, mm. So good. I did not know it was going to come out. That's so good. <laughs> That's the best kind when you don't know it, how, how it's going to come out. That was good. That was amazing. And, and for you, Tinley, this well, sweet and free life, is, how do you get it? How do you get mm. it? Well, you listen to that still small voice. <laughs> Honestly, most people are, are struggling with some sort of um, something holding them back, uh, either physically, emotionally, or um, both. Um, and there's so many different levels of that. Um, and all levels are very worth it to take <laughs> care of and to to um, uh, pay attention to. So 
um, that's one of the first things before you even reach out to me just think about what it is that's holding you back from that best health what it is from holding you back from the energy that you want to have um, what it is that's holding you back from the things you want to do I'm all about balance and um, creating that happy and healthy lifestyle and, and making room for those things that you love to do and that you thrive off of and um, that's where also food and nutrition enters in and feeding your body the food that it thrives off of and all of us are so different so my way isn't everybody else's way um, that's something that I really focus on in my program is figuring out your bio individuality so um, just think about what that still small voice is telling you but also how and what is holding you back and where you need to go um, to change it and I'm happy to walk with you go to sweetandfreelife.com Mm. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. What do you mean? Okay. I'm worth it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just got shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, for mine, if I'm gonna do one, I'll just what I'm thinking. I'm hearing both of them speak is that I'm just so thankful and that I don't think there's any reason or any path that we necessarily need to seek out. To get rich, it's just you have to wake up and realize that you are rich. Mm. You have to wake up in the dream of life that you are in right now. To wake up that we have this capability to do this. Like, do you know how long man has been trying to create a machine that can do this, that we can, we were born able to do? That we are just mir miracles. We are miracles. And if you are not realizing that, then what business do you have asking for more? If you can't appreciate and be in love with what you already have, then you have no business asking for more or looking for more. You need to wake up right now and just... I, I, it hit me last night. It hit me like a freight train lying in bed with Diana and just looking at her and being like, like we are not only are we going to... This is a fleeting moment right now, but one day this... I, I, I don't know what's going to happen for sure after I die. But I'm dying to this moment right now, and to, if we can dive deep into the appreciation for the moment that we are in right now, and to the appreciation that we can do what we can do, that we can see, that we can feel, that we can hear, that we can touch, and that we can breathe. If you can take a deep breath in, then I don't know what you have to complain about. And when you realize how rich you already are, then you don't need to hear me about hear me telling you how to get rich, because you are. That's the key. And I, I can't think of it, to me, it's like almost like gratitude and love are the same thing. Because I can't find a shadow side to gratitude. I can't find a shadow side to appreciation. So when you get that, when you dive deep into that appreciation for what you already have, then congratulations. Welcome welcome to the top percent. You're rich. <laughs> it feels good to be rich, doesn't it? <laughs> that's mine. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> We're all Seriously, we're all already so rich, oh, and it's a privilege to have challenges. It's a privilege to have problems. Mm -hmm. What a privilege it is to have problems. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you for watching. If you found any kind of uh, enlightenment or growth or a contribution that we gave to you in this video, share it. Give what you want to get. Get what you want to give. It's a beautiful cycle, and uh, see you in Big Sur. Yeah. And thank you, Dang. Maybe we'll see thank you in a you. retreat as well. I think you should be there. <laughs> I highly recommend checking both of them out. Rob Rouse approved. Danimal approved. Peace in. Welcome. All right. Welcome to the newest. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh. uh. <laughs> Bye. 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 If you're listening to this on the podcast. <laughs> enjoy it. Enjoy it. How many times am I going to say enjoy it? <laughs>